Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to be refactoring to the repository pattern. And what this is going to entail is taking our old database code that looks like this and putting them inside of neat little functions that exist within a repository. Because remember, a repository is just there for database calls. And that's what we are going to be doing. So let's go ahead, hop inside of Visual Studio Code. And first things first, we're going to start working on our interface. Now for our first interface signature, we are going to have a get by ID async. And this makes sense because we need to get stuff by ID from the database. And also we have this little question mark here because our get by ID async is going to have a first or default in it. And first or defaults can be null. So whenever a first or default doesn't find something, it returns null. So we need that little question mark there. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to return a stock, but this one's not going to have the ability to be null because it's a create async. And this create async is going to take in our stock and it's going to uh, be a stock entity. So I'm going to call it a stock model, but feel free to call it whatever you want to. So next thing is we're going to have a stock. It has, we're going to have a return type of a stock and it has the ability to be null and we're going to say async. But this one's gonna be a little bit different because we need the ID and we are also going to return the update stock request. So we're gonna say update, see here, update stock request DTO and we're going to take in the stock DTO just like this. So next thing we're gonna go down and we are going to pass in the stock. Let me see here, we're going to have a delete async just like this and this delete async is going to take in an int it's also going to take in an id just like that all right so now that we have all of this figured out you're going to get a red squiggly line because this class is not inter implementing our interface remember that whenever you implement an interface it's a contract and we have a contract with our stock repository that our stock repository must abide by or we're going to quote unquote sue said stock repository. Okay, I'm getting a little carried away here. So next thing that we're going to do is of course make this async. A lot of times the linter will add the async for you, but I'm on a Mac right now and for some reason it doesn't automatically add the async, but yours might or might not. But just remember, always add the async and always check that the async is there. So I'm gonna go add async and of course we're saving our model. So we're gonna go ahead and pass in our model. Next thing I'm gonna do is go into here, I'm going to go context. So, and I'm going to save changes async. Remember to make it async. And then of course we are going to return. After we get done, we're going to return the stock model. Great. Now what we need to do is we need to do our delete. And before that, I'm actually gonna make sure to add my async. And we're gonna go here. We need to go fetch our existing stock model. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go context, I'm gonna go stocks, I'm gonna go first or default async. And we need to go ahead, check beforehand. So I'm gonna go X, let's see here, X dot ID is equal to ID. And we need the first or default because first or default, remember returns null and we're anticipating it with the question mark up there. So I'm gonna go stock model is equal to null. Then we need to return, then we're going to return null back. Looks good. Then I'm gonna go down here. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go context, uh, stocks, gonna go remove, and we're going to pass in the stock model. Also, remove does not have async. So remember not to put the async there. So we're gonna go context here. Then we're gonna go save changes async. Then after this, we're going to return the stock model. Looking good. Get all async. So also let's go into here. Um, for some reason, this did not actually uh, become async before. So we're gonna go ahead and add async to this. And next thing we're going to do is get by ID async. I'm gonna go return, go you know, context, stocks, go find async, so find async, and we're gonna go ahead and pass in this ID. And also need to make sure that this is an await and make sure that this is async. So next thing we need to do is we need to do our update and go here, we're gonna go ahead, add async. First things first, we need to check if it exists. So I'm gonna say existing stock is equal to await. We need to go context stocks, 
first or default. So I'm gonna go first or default async x is equal to x dot id and go ahead pass in the id so now what we're going to do is we're going to check if the existing stock is equal to null if it is null we are going to return null looking good now what we need to do is we need to actually go within our controller and we could type all of this out but i think that typing all of this out would be uh mental hell so what i'm going to do is just go into the controller i'm going to go into the update and i'm just going to go ahead and grab it and what we're going to do is take the existing stock and just go boom 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 looking good then we are going to change it over to our stock dto so we'll say stock dto looking good go back over here go down and we're going to do our await go context we're gonna go save changes async. Then after that, we are going to return the existing stock model. So we're gonna say return existing stock. So now that we have our repository made, we're gonna start going over to our controller and start swapping out all of this code. And first thing that I'm gonna do is just go down to my git by ID. Our git all is already done, but our git by ID, we need to go down here and we need to switch it out with the stock repo and we are going to add our git by id async and go to here go ahead pass in our id so moving on to our create we'll just go down here we can actually get rid of both of these lines i'm going to go await i'm going to go within the stock repo i'm going to go create and we'll just go into here pass in our stock model just like that looking amazing so now what we need to do is go to our update. We can actually get rid of this right here. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. Just go ahead and go here. And what we can do is go stock repo and pass in our update async. Go pass in our ID and pass in the update DTO. So we'll go update DTO and put a semicolon we're good to go on that now what we need to do is just get rid of this then we can go here get rid of all of this and we're going to do it this code is going to be looking amazing so we're going to go to here go ahead pass in our id and would you look at that our code is looking a lot better okay so let's go ahead here and we're going to go ahead restart the server for good measure and let's test everything out so i've already got a couple values within the database already got some dummy values so we've got amazon also had to add a also added another string stock just to test so let's test to make sure that we can create I'm going to go into here and going to say Tesla. I'm going to give it a company name, Tesla. Purchase price, we'll say $234. Um, last dividend, we'll say 2.1. Industry, automotive, and the market cap, we will put uh, a large number here. So go ahead, test it. And we've got a response. Let's also do our Git. I believe this one that was created was a four. So let's go ahead, test it to make sure that we can get our four back. We've got Tesla. Go ahead, let's also um, test it. And we'll go ahead, just change everything to string. Let's see here. And would you look at that? We've already got our changes back. Everything's looking good. We even have the ID there, which is looking great. And let's see here, make sure that we can delete it. So go into here. I've got a 204 that's looking good. And I'm just gonna go back up and make sure that it actually deleted it out. And there is no number four. We've successfully got all of our database calls refactored to repository. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next video.